Welcome back to the Airbow build. In the previous video, I started planning the uh, turbo. Today, we're going to start working on the hot side. So, I've ordered quite a few exhaust parts, and this is what I'll use to fabricate the hot side. It's a T6 flange. The goal is to put the flange somewhere around there so the turbo will be mounted up, and just be like that. Uh, in front of the engine. The uh, hot side going to the turbo is going to be two and a quarter, so I ordered uh, lots of different types of bends. And I'll cut that up and uh, weld those together. I ordered quite a bit more than I need um, for mistakes, and uh, if I have leftovers, that's okay. After the turbo, most of it's going to be stainless. Um, it'll initially be this uh, four inch, I'll taper it down to a three inch. And then the rest of the exhaust will be a three inch stainless. Most of it will be held together with V-bands and I'll weld uh, most of the joints solid. So I think I have enough extra tubing here and uh, it's time to get started. So the flange will actually be somewhere around here and oriented this way. Because it's a boat, I have quite a bit of flexibility on where I put the turbo. The considerations though is I don't want it too high because um, basically just for center of gravity, but it does need to be high enough that the oil drains back to the oil pan. So I think I'll put it centered around here and I'm going to build some mounts, probably uh, attach it to some of these accessory uh, holes uh, because I do want the turbo supported by mounts and not just the exhaust. So that's the next thing to fabricate now. For the flange, I'm just going to weld uh, bit of this quarter inch plate to the sides and just make tabs and uh, that's what I'm going to use for mounting the flange. So that's the finished flange. Just drilled 5 16 holes through the tabs, and then I'll build up some brackets to get this mounted. So here the flange is mounted up. It's uh, it's fairly rigid. I think between this and the exhaust, it'll be pretty strong. I could add another support, but it probably doesn't need it. One thing I am a bit concerned about is proximity to here. It'll be pretty hot. I'm wondering if it's gonna be too hot for those belts. So I could move it around, but I think this is the starting point at least. So 
So the mount takes the weight just fine. I probably will add another bracket triangulating from here to here, uh, and then it'll be quite rigid. I think that'll be plenty strong. I am still a bit concerned about the space. So there is an air gap there, but obviously this thing is gonna get very hot. So let me know what you think. Is that too close? space there. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the next terrible video I'll be working more on the exhaust tubing and just getting all this buttoned up.